Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on green buildings. You may live or work in a green building. I'm not talking about the paint color on the outside. I'm referring to the building's effect on the environment. The EPA defines green building as the practice of creating structures and using processes that are environmentally responsible and resource efficient throughout a building's life cycle. Most people assume green buildings automatically have excellent indoor air quality, but that's not necessarily true. When buildings are designed and operated, there may be trade-offs between indoor air quality and other factors such as cost, convenience, and energy efficiency. In this video, I'll highlight examples of green buildings gone bad. Some green buildings are constructed on contaminated brownfield sites to turn an old industrial area into a beacon for the environment. The problem? Well, it's that the contaminated soil may impact the indoor air quality via vapor intrusion. Another issue. During design, a green building will try to squeeze a lot into a fixed budget. Often, extra dollars go for more iconic purchases, such as solar panels, rather than for things that can affect the indoor air quality, like a dedicated outdoor air system. Yet another issue. During operation of green buildings, owners may opt to reduce outdoor air ventilation in an effort to save on cooling and heating costs. Yes, this may reduce their energy consumption, but it will have a negative effect on the indoor air quality. Finally, some green buildings went to great lengths to use low VOC paints and furniture. But when it comes to cleaning the space every day, they needlessly use harsh disinfectants on all surfaces when a more basic cleaner would do just fine. So you can see, a green building isn't necessarily a healthy building. To have your green building evaluated by an indoor air quality consultant, visit the Indoor Air Quality Association website, iaqa.org, and click on the Find an IAQ Pro button to find someone near you.